Hello and welcome to another Daily Digest video. I am Ross Miriam and today I am braving the depths of standard with a Metalwork Colossus deck. It is just straight blue black. Got a bunch of expertises and fatal pushes to play a fair game and you'll see in the sideboard there are more elements that, so you can uh, board into a disruptive, aggressive, slanted, mid-range deck kind of, kind of thing rather than stay as your normal Metalwork almost combo deck. I'm on the play. Yes, I would like to play first. I would like to mulligan my no lander, please, into oof, so many caravans. Um, this is going to be a keep because it's functional. And we're going to hope to draw some stuff to do with all this mana. And if we don't, maybe we can start drawing some cards to see get wreckage. Opponent also mulligan, great, and I will keep. Oh, get Mulligan to five, even better. Hmm, Foundry Inspector. So we go turn three Caravan. I guess I I can play turn three Inspector, and then if I have a fourth land, play two Caravans with four mana, then tap them both to play the other Caravan. And this crews them, so... Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep that on top. See what our opponent does with their Scry. And they top. There we go. Okay. Start with an island. And pass a turn. Hmm. See if they're playing a Marvel deck. Oh, that certainly looks like it. Well. Good. Put, put the Colossus deck to the test. See what... Hmm. Okay, well, is this a servant or? Okay, so they're, so they're a servant version, likely means they don't have sensor. Uh, I still have seen servant versions play some glimmers, so we'll, we'll watch out for that. Um, yeah, and let's just get this inspector down. This, this is bad against Chandra Torch of Defiance, which comes and goes in these lists now. But it's definitely just the better play for our normal development. This looks like a Rogue Refiner. And they're up to four energy now. Why? Did they use an energy last turn to cast the Servant for some reason? I think that... I guess they did. No complaints here. Um, hmm. Didn't hit the fourth land. We can play... Oh, okay. Here we go. This will be sweet. Yeah, we'll play one Inspector, and then we can just chain these Caravans. That'll now cost one. So that was actually great. And we'll be able to cast Metalwork Colossus next turn. This is awesome. <laughs> and another one. It's like Burning Tree Caravan. Just, just cast them all. Oh, I guess I can cast Metalwork Colossus now, right? Because it costs uh, nine less from this is two, and then two less from these. I, I forgot the ins the inspector actually makes it cost less. I'll just cast everything. Sure. Oh yeah, I and mean, we've got a Sanctum. This is a good draw. Sure, I'll I'll sacrifice it. Get another one. Play another one. Well, I, I hope our opponent... Has, they're going to have to have Marvel real quick. Because if we're about to attack for, what, 30 next turn? Um, I don't think I offer a trade with the Inspector. Because it's just going to create a Caravan next turn. So, there you go. Turn four. Is that good? Do I want that? Casually casting, what is this, 15, 37 mana worth of spells? Kind of makes marble look like a pile of puke. So is there any way they can get to 6 energy this turn? If they hadn't wasted an energy off hub, they could have had a tune here into, into marble. But now I don't see it. 
This is World of Virtuoso. Yeah, you needed red mana. Okay. Well, they're gonna have some blockers here. They can make two Thopters. I guess if they have Marvel in their hand, they can just block with their normal creatures and untap and try to Marvel into Ulamog next turn. And, oh, okay, well, killing an Inspector, sure. Hmm. That will limit our attack here, but that's fine. Hub, what does that do? Uh, I guess I can draw a card with Seagate Wreckage here, and then still have two Caravans untapped, so... Sure. Ooh. That'll be kind of cool next turn. So let's crew up. And wish for only 25. A little disappointed. Um. See how they block here. If they make any Thopters, that's a very good sign. Yes. Okay. We're not getting marbled next turn. Going to be real tough to lose this game if I don't get Ulamogged immediately. Man. Who says Marvel's the most powerful thing you can do? So they have to make just one block here. Well, uh, what the? okay. This seems unnecessarily conservative. They could have traded for a caravan. That's, I don't know. They basically have no board now. I guess they could Brawl's Expertise us, but we can just recast the Colossuses as next turn. Just doing our thing. Just how we drew it up. Keep a hand of three lands, three <laughs> cultivators, caravans. Okay, yeah. And as you can see in our sideboard, we have plenty of things for this matchup. I'm 100% bringing in rebukes and thought not seers. The question is whether or not I want Tezzeret's touch as another aggressive element. Um, I don't think I want Herald of Anguish. That's not really... This isn't really the matchup for that. Um, I'm not expecting, obviously, any sort of Dispossess, so I think I'll, I'll leave in the full Colossus plan. So maybe that means I don't bring in Touch. Um, makes sense to me. I don't think I want all of these Expertises. But I kind of want some of them. No, I, I guess I'll just cut Fatal Push instead. It only kills uh, Servant of the Conduit reliably. The Expertises will be good against Whirler Virtuoso if that is necessary. I like Sky Sovereign for attacking Planeswalkers. Um, I don't know how good Baral's Expertise is. It does let us answer an Ulamog. That's that's probably important. Got to cut three more cards. This is kind of tough. Um, I like the Deep Fiend. It's real. Just it's very difficult to cut into everything we're doing here. Hmm. I think I will cut. One Yehenny's expertise. Maybe cut one Colossus, actually, because we're bringing in this other aggressive element in Thought Not Seer. No, we're so threat light to begin with. I don't think you can do that. Man, maybe I just have to cut both of these and just leave it for all. Sure. And then cut maybe a Hedron Archive because we're doing other things on turn four. Okay. Make some difficult decisions there. 
definitely not sure of my sideboarding, but we will soldier on. This hand is not good. <laughs> I was trying to come up with something better to say about it, but just five lander. Not going to keep it. Need something a bit more explosive uh, or disruptive. And this hand has the potential for that with these puzzle knots drawing into archive and then hopefully win the game with Sky Sovereign. I will keep this. Our opponent's now on seven. And do I want another land? I think I, I do. Yeah. I need to make line drops of this hand. So keep that on top. We get, yep. Yeah. Typical attune opening. Opponent kept seven, so um, their five is pretty functional. They just didn't have the the marble, and our hand was very good. So I'm not super concerned about playing down a card this game. Is that the? Yep, yeah, that's the land they got. And prison. That's not a bad one. Uh, I'm I'm not going to crack these now because they can potentially make. Uh, a Colossus cheaper. So let's just start on Prism. I hope our mana. And another land. Um, sure. This next turn we'll probably play the pools, play Puzzle Knot, and then play Sanctum into Archive plus Puzzle Knot. And hopefully by then we'll have found a Colossus because we will, I guess, be one short of casting it, but be able to cast it on turn five, which is to be expected. Ooh, Nissa. You don't see that in this deck very often. Maybe they're not a Marvel deck. Maybe they're playing the, the Planeswalker heavy, fair version of the Energy Shell. That would certainly make sense. In which case, I probably don't want the rebukes, and I want more removal. <laughs> so. Uh, check out how they scryed there. That was top to top. That's not good. And now that I've drawn a fourth land, I'm thinking about holding this pool so I can potentially cycle it. Uh, am I going to play land five? Probably, but I can also just draw it. So, yeah, let's... As I, I should have not played a land and played this first, but... I don't know what land I could draw that would have changed my play. Okay, there's another thing. That's good. Also could help us uh, gun down that Nissa, which is quickly going to get out of control. Hmm. Okay, is playing... So I can play Inspector plus Puzzle Knot here. Or I can play Archive plus Puzzle Knot. And I have to think Archive is better. Yeah. Wonder if our opponent brought in counter spells. They could have things like Dissenter's Deliverance in their sideboard. Uh, could definitely be an issue. Oh, they have Negate. Well, yeah, that's pretty good. Huh. And now I'm, yeah, getting really punished for uh, <laughs> not playing the Spetted Pools. I won't be able to play Sky Sovereign next turn without a, an untapped land here. Maybe that was a reason to play Inspector plus Puzzle Knot. Yeah, probably didn't sequence this game very well. Uh, so they zeroed and found the Sanctum, I assume. And they're glimmering. Well... I don't think the, the fair versions of this deck play Glimmer, but I don't know. Maybe our opponent's just up to something very different. Uh, bottom top off the Glimmer Scries. Hmm. Untap land here. Ah, oh, man. I was going to say Untap land here would be great. Be able to kill that Nyssa. Uh, just getting so punished. So... Yeah, I guess we just play Inspector Puzzle Nut here and hope our Inspector lives. 
Yes, I, we don't even need the Inspector to live, actually. Next turn, we can play Sky Sovereign plus Colossus without it. So that's nice. Guarantee you this is an untapped land here. <laughs> oh, Moto. Um, so now, again, I have the decision that, uh, whether to hold the pools I, that I can potentially cycle. Um, sacking or emerging deep fiend with the inspector will make the deep fiend cost four. So yeah, I think we have plenty of mana. So I'll just play the island and pass the turn. This will be a really key turn for our opponent here. Let's see what they can do. Got a lot of mana. Nissa six cards in hand. I'm still not exactly sure what they're up to. They have zero Nissa again, which I like. They have hit Sky Saw or Rover Finger, which I don't like. But if the, now this this flagship has the potential to do a lot of work. A lot of work. Mm -hmm. Okay, well they are marveling. And they're just a Marvel version with Nissa. Card was certainly got a lot of hype, but has not lived up to it thus far. No log, no log, no log. Ooh, they hit appetite. Okay, I'm I'm okay with that. Uh, I guess I'm only okay with that if this sky sovereign lives or resolves. Ugh. I should have played the island first. Please don't censor me. Uh, just getting negated. Okay. Play land again. And pass the turn. It's going to be a tough one to win now. Can play Colossus costs five. That's so much. I mean, we can, we can keep casting them. But I think we're going to get Marl out of this game eventually. Yeah, I think if I, if I play Inspector plus Puzzle Knot that previous turn, that early turn, turn four, instead of Hedron Archive, I'm in a lot better shape. It's really, really remarkable how fast and easy it is to reload with Marvel. Ugh. Well, now... <laughs> I just keep getting punished for not playing the Spedded Pools. I should just go ahead and play it. They're going to kill one of you know, one of our things. Surprised they would kill the Prism and not a Puzzle Knot, but... Now we can't even cast the Colossus this turn. We're going to be one short, man. Just comical. Might not even lose to an Ulmog. Yeah. Might just get attacked to death. Our opponent has 8 power on board. Hmm. Yeah, that, that early turn was the key here. Should have played around the gate. Ooh. That's pretty good. That brings me up to 8. So yeah, that lets me cast a Colossus this turn. That's nice. Hedron Archive got another negate for me. Do ya? Do ya? Nope. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I'm still, it comes into play tapping some Mega Horn, and now I'm still short. Oh, Jesus. Um, so next turn, Colossuses are going to cost three, and I want to cast three of them because I have two Sanctums, and I have eight mana, so I want the ninth mana. So I'll give in now and finally play my Fetid Pools. Oh, man. Just maximally punished on basically every turn. I've been one mana short. I guess I didn't check how they scribed last turn. And we got a top and a top. Well, we're probably dead. Getting attacked for eight, so we'll probably just die the fairway. Opponent has no energy, so get hitting Marvel here is gonna be tough. Scry again. They don't 
Guess they didn't want the top card of their deck. I don't know. Just trying to set up a, a kill. Yeah, I, I guess I, I can't even Colossus twice. Hmm. Top topped. I guess we can play two of them and then hold up Deep Fiend. Yeah, I, I guess that's the play. They're going to enter tapped too because of this Manglehorn. So they're not going to be able to block. And if our opponent makes some 5-5s, five uh, we can tap two of them and tap the two refiners and have a blocker for Manglehorn. Seems reasonable to me. Uh, let's cast this. Yes. Oh, I guess I could find Thought Not Seer. That seems a little bit, little late to the party, though. Let's just find some Colossuses. Sack this. Get another one. Let this one resolve. And... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and now, once again, one short of being able to cast the other one. We even played the Fetid Pulse this time. Hmm. Our opponent could very easily just not go for the Nissa Ultimate. And then we'd be in some rough shape. But if we can get the Nissa out of the way, maybe we'll be in okay shape. Probably have to survive another Marvel activation. There's a mountain in their hand. Hmm. Okay, well, they're using it, so that's good for us. And cast with Emerge. Let's sack this one, pay blue, blue, tap this one, this one, this one, and this one. Got him. And I don't know, see if we can kill this Anissa. That would be nice. Do have to worry about just dying to the other creatures though. If I make a big attack, this Manglehorn is a real pain. Real pain in my side. Hmm. And I have five cards in hand. I assume that there's got to be something coming down that is going to be bad for me. Please attack the Manglehorn, that. Pretty please? Huh? Attack the Manglehorn, I would assume that there's a Hardest Lightning coming. And you, but that trade does not seem particularly good. It's the mountain they found. Hopefully the rest of their hand is all lands. All lands, four forests. Is there a good chance they have an Ulamog in their hand? Two forks, and they're at 10 mana, so. Ugh. Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> I guess if they had Ulamog, they probably would have cast it that turn. Oh, they, they had to use mana for the attune, okay. Got a giant Nissa. Huh. I guess they, they could have 
made a bunch of them. No, I guess they could. They would have had to tap these. Okay. Well, now if I attack, if I send both at Nissa, which I basically have to do, the opponent can block. They can chump the Colossus with Manglehorn and have the Nissa live. Um. Hmm. Problem is, if they just let the Nissa die, uh, we are kind of screwed because we we're facing unlethal damage. Um, hmm. I don't think there's anything I can find with this Inventor's Fair that gets me out of that spot. Um. Uh, actually, can I find Sky Sovereign? Nope, one mana short. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I play the fair. I have two, four, six, eight mana up. So, and I, I need nine four to sack the fair and five to play the sky sovereign. Okay. Uh, so why don't we crack the archive then, and see what it has for us. Um. Hmm. Well, I might have just screwed this game up then. <laughs> oh man, I gotta I gotta stop playing so quickly. Let's uh, attack Nissa. I, I have to attack both, otherwise it's just gonna ultimate. And. Hope he blocks. And I should have done this first. I, I was thinking if I drew, um, if I drew Sky Sovereign, then I would be able to kill the Manglehorn with it. But okay, they're they're not. Yeah, they're not blocking anyway. Uh, so now what am I trying to draw? I don't have Yehenny's expertise in the deck. Yeah. Guess we'll just go for it. Uh, yeah, that's not going to do it. Enters tapped through the Manglehorn. I'm facing down lethal. I will concede. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm wondering if I should just be playing Yehenny's over Brawls and say if I get Ulamogged, I get Ulamogged. But no, I, I think I can reasonably play a fair game in the matchup. Um, yeah, I'm, I actually like how I sideboarded. I'll just keep it like this. Just need to sequence that game a little bit better. Oh, uh, this hand is pretty good. Turn 2 Pulse Knot, turn 4 Archive, should set up this Colossus. Plenty of lands. And, let's see what our opponent does. Would like to see some disruption here. Thought not seer would be nice. Uh, they have kept seven, good for them. Rebuke could be fine. If I drew a rebuke, I may have to hold off on the archive until turn five. Ooh, another Colossus. This could be another fast combo game like game one. Let's see what we draw here. Another land, not great, but. I'll take it. Don't think I will crack the puzzle knot on turn three if I draw nothing, just because I wanted to play for the Colossuses. Strong opening from our opponent. Oof. Throwing a lot of lands here. Inventor's Fair go. A caravan there would have been great. A foundry inspector would have been good. But land was not. Our opponent quickly making their way up to six energy too. This could be Rogue Refiner, Virtuoso. Refiner. Yep. Okay. Well, so that brings them to five. They have another hub. 
We could be getting turn four Ulamogged. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Okay. Let's get another archive down and hopefully this turn does not go too bad. So now the Colossus is cost five and we're gonna untap with seven mana, so we still can only cast one of them. Oh no. Oh no. Well. Huh. Surprised that they would do it that way. If they had a two in first, they could have saved an energy and attack for an extra two damage. I don't see what the red man is doing them. Uh, we are in we're in trouble now. I could bounce our opponent's board and my puzzle bot and recast it. It doesn't let them draw an extra card off Refiner. I guess I would just bounce the Servant. But I, I do think I need to dig towards some action here. So let's run it. Uh, this one and this one. Yeah, losing our archive was a real big deal. Hmm. Cast it. Something good. Something good. Something good. That's not bad. I will take that. Get to cast that. Kill a refiner. Maybe kill Servant if they recast that. And then we can cast Colossus the next turn and crew the boat. I don't know how Metalwork Colossus will fit inside the boat to drive it because he's pretty big, but they'll manage. We're going to need a bigger boat, as they say. Take three, and ooh, no fifth land, no Marvel. Um, ugh. Well, on the surface, that seems like a good thing, but probably looking at a negate here. Um, probably looking at a negate, but... I mean, we're, we're at 10, we're staring down a two-turn clock. Gotta get these Colossuses into play. I don't think we can afford to play around it. So, jam into this negate. Mm. Yep. Mm. And once again, in very rough shape. Huh. Can we go back to game one? Game one was a more fun time. I think everybody just had just had a better better day when I got to play 37 mana worth of spells. Well, that's about the best thing we could see from our opponent there. A card that basically does nothing. Uh, very surprised not to see the other creature come in. Um, I guess they're casting a Glimmer here, but if they... If they had Glimmer, why not just attack for five and forego casting the puzzle map? Well, I guess we will just play our spells because that's all we can do. Oh, I should, I should have played Inspector first. Oh, uh, well, okay. Well, it's not exactly punished, but. Uh, so now these cost seven. Next there is six with our our inspector. So we can cast one next turn. Thing, although uh, I do think I'll trade this for the refiner given the opportunity. I can still cast Colossus. Well, not gonna have that opportunity. Still very confused as to why this didn't attack. But I will uh, I will accept as it means I get to live. Uh, it does mean that casting Colossus does not let me survive. So I need to draw something that will let me cast both of them. I guess that would be Hedron Archive. Uh, they would cost three then. Yeah, I'd have to legend rule the first fair with the second one. But if I did that, I could, I'd generate six mana after the Archive. So I'd cast both. Still not attacking with Servant. 
What do you, I guess they had um, they have another negate in their hand. They were holding up harness landing plus negate, and now they're still doing it. Ugh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Well, now I don't know what I can draw. Thought not seer is not good enough. Rebuke is definitely not good enough. I can't even cast any of my cards. Well, yeah, that'll do it. Deck did not look very good in that third game. Didn't really flooded a bit and then got a lot of our artifacts killed. Not sure how many how many shatter effects our opponent had. They played just the one appetite and one Mangalhorn in both of the post board games. I can't imagine they have more than three or four, if more than just the two, but um, yeah, that's sort of the reality of Metalwork Colossus. There's a lot of artifact hate around because of Marvel, and the Colossus deck is going to take some splash damage, but uh, at least we got to see the deck when it did its powerful thing there in game one, so that was fun. Re remember game one, and, and you'll have a better day. I uh, hope you enjoyed especially that game one, and you can come back and see me on Wednesday. Bye.